Thanks for joining us, Johannes. Now, we're talking today about Coles and the spin-off of Coles from West Farmers uh, as an IPO earlier this week. What does that mean for the retail grocery segment, for Coles and for its investors? Yeah, so the segment itself, the grocery industry, hasn't changed with that spin-out of Coles. But what we can, can see now and observe as, as investors is really what value is ascribed to the supermarkets business that currently lived inside of West Farmers and, and the remaining West Farmers business, which really dominated by Bunnings. And in our view, Coles is now trading around fair value and West Farmers remains slightly overvalued with investors or the market being a bit too optimistic on Bunnings prospects, especially near term with those headwinds coming from a weaker housing market. And if we look at Coles versus Woolworths in terms of the valuation of the stock, so just mentioned Coles is fairly valued in our, in our view, but Woolworths remains overvalued. And now with that direct comp that we have in Coles, it just is much more apparent, I think, to the market and, and investors. So we would expect that might be a catalyst for the stock, for Woolworth stock actually to soften over the next few months. And in terms of, you know, there's, there's quite a few competitive pressures in play for Coles at the moment or, or looking ahead. We've, we've got you know, the potential for, for more com competition to enter the space. You've got Amazon Fresh is potentially ramping up uh, and you know, Kaufland and some of the other German so it's, do you think there's any, going to be some, some downward momentum in, the, in, in Coles' share price going forward? Or what's, what's going to happen? Touching on the competitive environment and where, where we see the outlook, really, is you just mentioned Kaufland. Kaufland will be opening stores. In our view, you know, by the end of 2020, they'll be up and running, but only with a handful of shops. And if this format, this hypermarket format, resonates with Australians, it will still take many, many years for them to, to get critical mass and build scale. Um, and you also mentioned Amazon Fresh, which we think, looking at overseas markets, it takes a very long time for, for that to roll out, to establish itself, and it's a very, very slow pro progress. So from new entrants, we think the competitive pressures will, be, will not be felt for, for a while. But Aldi is obviously here, has established itself, and I think that that discount channel that we now have in Australia will, will keep prices sharp, also across Coles and Woolworths, which means you know, an in increase in, in their profitability, a, a material increase is very unlikely in our view. Any advice in this video is general advice prepared by Morningstar without reference to your financial objectives, situation, or needs. You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest.